much-awaited 12th stage of the Dakar stretched from Thiambala to La Rioja, with 253 kilometers of special and the last dunes of the edition to be tackled. Sadly, it was the final straw for the overall leader, Carlos Sanz, winner of six out of nine stages so far. The Spaniard lost it all when his Volkswagen Touareg careered into Ravine at the 79 kilometer mark. However, despite his hopes of getting back on the road, Sanz had to abandon the race as his co-pilot Michel Perrin suffered a shoulder injury in the accident. With almost a half hour lead on his teammate Mark Miller and three stages to come that were more or less to his liking, the Matador looked all set to win this 31st edition of the Dakar. Already in 2007, what looked like his victory for the taking was shattered by mechanical problems. He joins the ever-growing list of unlucky contenders. And so the man of the day turned out to be Geniel de Villiers. The South African took control of the race from the 140 km mark, finishing 16 minutes ahead of his teammate Mark Miller. This is his third stage win this year and his 11th overall. He now lies first in the overall standings, leading the American by 2 minutes and 35 seconds. In the motorbike section, there's still no major change and there may not be any. Mark Coma has already seen one victory slip through his fingertips. In 2007, he lost everything just two days off the finish due to a fall. As a result, the Spaniard is more cautious than ever. But with the lead of over an hour on the second place rider, he knows there's no need to push himself. He's happy to just follow his adversaries. Today, he rode in the tracks of Cyril Desprez, the eventual winner of the stage. The Frenchman, who took the lead at the first checkpoint, stayed put right till the end, for his fourth stage victory this year and the 20th of his career. Coma finished 1 minute and 23 seconds later. Desprez benefited from David Fretinier's oil problems to take second place, but still remains an hour and a half of Coma's overall time.